bud. Come here, bud. Come here, bud. Look out! Look out! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Moron. Oh my god. Suey and I are out here in this blistering heat trying to catch a stray mastiff as it wanders back and forth through oncoming traffic. Come here, bud. The next time he steps out into oncoming traffic, I don't know that he's going to be so lucky. Come over here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come on. Come on. Come on, bud. Come on. Come on, buddy. Our only real hope is that his hunger overrides his you know, fear of coming near us. Come on. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. Good papa. Come on. I could see that the smell of these treats caught his attention. Come on, old man. I know you're kind. I know you're kind. Good boy. Come on. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come on, come on. Got him. <sighs> okay. There's a real art about the way Miss Tia goes about her rescues. Come on, no more of the street life. Come on, buddy. Come on, come on, bud. Good job, old man. I'm looking at the condition of this dog. He is emaciated beyond anything. He's been out here for weeks, starving. I really don't care what his backstory is or where he came from. My number one priority right now is to convince him that I'm on his side. I don't even know that I can pick him up. Oh, God. Okay, watch his face. Go on, bud. Okay. Good job, old man. Good job. All right, buddy. Miss Tia, you are the real deal. You saw how I laid the loop on the ground, okay? I just kept tossing treats when he got close enough, okay? Mm. Dealing with these big animals in these rescue situations, you never know what these dogs are gonna do. But it was a really good feeling knowing that I was a part of this. I mean, we saved this dog's life. I learned a whole lot from just that one rescue. He's hot. We'll give him a nice bath, okay? All right. Yeah. You know what, Mo? What? I don't know that she'll go in it. But she's so suspicious of this rope. I want you to try and go get a trap. All right. At that point, I so said, you know what? Last resort. I had to come up with a plan that I've never used before. And that was just a standard dog trap. She may or may not go in one, but again, I saw that she was curious. And I don't know what else to do right now. I think you like the fish better. So I'm gonna use that for the trap. But I will entice you with chicken. Come here, Mama. Come over here. You know, Mo and Kevin got a little bit of a journey. We're talking like 40 minutes. So I had to keep this little hound there but I was running out of food. And I don't want to have her get bored, so I'm just giving her like little morsels and just trying to keep her right there. You know, I felt pretty helpless, actually. It's starting to get ready to rain. The sun's going down. And I'm like, oh, please hurry up. Here, Mama. So um, normally, I hate the sound of that truck because it's so loud. <laughs> Today, I was very happy. Here, Mama. Here, Mama. Here. Don't pay attention to them. Here, Mama. 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 Right, right here. here. This, it's got to be on, on flat. You want to put the food in put there? Put the fish in there. Here. So now, I'm hoping that the trap itself will not scare her. We made a little trail of food, putting the best of what I had at the very back of the trap. Hey, Mama. Mama. Stepped over. 
And then, because she's so tiny, she was able to step over the metal plate that springs the trap. And I'm like, are you kidding me? <laughs> it was just a really good feeling to know that we finally had her. If that trap hadn't have worked, I don't know what we would have done at that point. All right. Good job, Mo. I didn't do anything. Well, you're the one that found her. I mean. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. So we're back in Lafayette to rescue Kizzy, this beautiful white dog who's been alone out in these woods for months. She's been eluding us for days after we built an enclosure around her feeding spot. The last time it didn't work out because she was able to actually pick up our scent and just walked away. So I start thinking, we're going to have to come up with another idea. And then Kanani just whispers in my ear, a deer blind. Normally used for people that want to hunt deer, which we don't. They're these stands, and they go way high up, and they have like a little box on them, so to speak. And that's what you know people hide in. I'm hoping that once we're higher up off the ground and not level with her, It'll be harder for Kizzy to detect us. Do they have like a back window? They have windows yeah. 360. Once Kizzy goes inside, it's going to be Kanani who is the gate man, and it'll be Mo who goes and secures the gate because she could easily just push through the chain link and the gate and, and get out again. Where's your hook? There it is. There's your mousetrap. Wow. And just like that, she appeared again. OK, hold on. Get ready. Wait till she comes back more. Wait till she comes back more. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let her get both, let her get both. OK, now, 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 OK, go. Get down there, Mo. Mo, be careful. <clears throat> Hurry up, Mo. When Mo finally had the gate secured, it's just like this relief that we finally had her. It's OK. It's OK. It's OK, Mama. Good job, buddy. It's OK. This is the part where she's going to try to get out, so look at her. She thinks she's hiding. It was the saddest thing ever. Like she doesn't know that we're trying to help her. Just a leash. Smell? Smell? Yeah. It's OK. Good girl. Good girl. Her gums she's a, are white. She's probably super anemic. She was so afraid. So just as a precaution, I just made like a homemade muzzle, and I'm going to let Richard carry her out, as opposed to all of us who are complete strangers. You know, catching like feral dogs, sometimes they just submit like this, and sometimes they thrash around. So she's one that just said, you know what? You're here to help My me. My girl. I am so thankful for people like Bennett and, and Richard, who went way above the call of duty to help Kizzy. He's a sweet girl. Okay, so, okay, hold on a second. Let me see. Because Shaggy has so many medical issues, I didn't see her making it much longer. <laughs> that cough is so bad. We have to get her. If Shaggy follows the feeding schedule that this family has put for her, she should be here in about 30 minutes. Park over there in that empty ditch. Park on that empty lot right there. I had Tanya and Mariah sit in their vehicles about half a block away so they could help be a lookout. I'm going to leave this here me because I have tinted windows. So you can hide in there. But you're definitely going to be in the driver's seat. OK. And then Marcel and I parked one house away facing the house to be able to watch her and hope that she just goes in this yard and stays in there until we can close the gate. And wait All we for do her is to wait. come. OK. OK. I just asked the owners of the house to feed her like they do every day. Now I know how cops feel during a stakeout. Stakeout, yep, exactly. Now, if she starts to come, mm -hmm. you're going to have to duck down because she can yeah. see through the windshield. You know? Bye. Bye. Oh, there she is. Oh, there she is. And like clockwork, at around 3 o'clock, she showed up. Yeah, it's her. That's what she said. Like right, when she comes, she can't see me back here, so I'll let you. Oh, she's coming. She's coming. Take your hat off. Okay, she, so she's starting to come. She's starting to come over here. 
Okay. Yeah, she's on the... Yeah, she's coming. Okay. Okay. Don't move. She's coming this way. What is this? And then she stopped. And I'm like, are you kidding me? Whatever you do, don't move. She's looking right at us. She knows this Hummer is not supposed to be here. I'm telling you right now. Outside the fence. Okay. Oh, she's coming. She's coming. This way, don't move. Don't move. Okay. Don't move. She's coming this way. She's walking the fence. And then she turned around and started to just like saunter away. Damn. I mean, she's a smart little dog. Shaggy was literally about three feet away from going in the yard, and then she turned around and walked away. Damn. She's a smart little dog. Where's she going? Where's she? Where's she at? Behind me. She's running back. She's running back towards you. Okay, okay. It was almost like she was assessing the situation. Once she felt like it was just her, she turned right around and went back to the house. Hey, don't pick your head up. Don't move. She's coming this way. Um, she can't see me behind the headrest, so I will tell you when to look up. She's getting ready to go in. Just don't move. I'll let you know when you can look up. Watch her, watch her. Watch her, let her go all the way in. Go, Mar Marcel, go. Go, 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 go. We got her, we got her, we got her. Take a blanket, go on, go in, go in. Get in there and help her, get in there and help her. Marcel. Hi, baby. Wait. You okay? You're okay, hey, okay baby. Sissy, baby. Shaggy then went and hid in a corner, didn't even try to get out. And that's when your heart just breaks. It was sad. She was scared. All right, he's, he's pretty much got her. Go help, Doo Doo. Yeah, come here. She wants you. He's picking her up right now. Just cover her head with the blanket. There, he's got her, he's got her. We got her. That poor dog. We just got her. That poor dog. You're just like, no, 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 we're here to help you. I wish we could tell them why we're there. You're all right, she is so sick. Girl. She's fine, she ain't going nowhere. She looked at me and was like, all right, I give it She's up. done, she's tired. I quit. You know, Marcel did a great job. He was very gentle with her and just let her know that we're there for her. I probably just don't feel good either, though. Hi. Hey, huh? She's How you doing? so sick. Yeah, she had to go to the vet. It is a huge relief to finally help her. You can see her, like, struggling to breathe right now. She's sick, too. Yeah. She had a hoop and cough that. Yeah. Well, let's get her. We're going to get her in the truck, and then we're going to take all this stuff down. All right. Yeah. You poor baby. Thank you very much for Thank letting you. us. Thank you. The mats on her are the yeah. most insane thing I've ever seen. But getting her off the street was just the very beginning. OK. We need to get her to the vet, and this needs to happen immediately.